Hi, today we're going to take a look at the Redmi Note 8 Pro versus the Infinix 08. This is not going to be your regular comparison because we're going to compare the devices from the outside and then we're going to go inside, open them up and check them out from the inside, alright? The reason I choose the Redmi Note 8 Pro instead of the Redmi Note 9 Pro for this comparison is because the Redmi Note 8 Pro has almost the same spec as the Infinix 08, whereas the Redmi Note 9 Pro runs on the Snapdragon 730G which is a little bit faster than the Helio G90 that runs on the Infinix 08 and the Redmi Note 8 Pro. So, to be a little bit fair, I decided to use the device that runs on the same chipset as the Infinix 08, which is the Redmi Note 8 Pro. So, starting out here with the display, the Redmi Note 8 Pro has a smaller display of 6.5 inches, while the Infinix 08 has a larger display of 6.8 inches. Putting both displays side by side, you'll actually realize that the Infinix 08 has a poor display compared to that on the Redmi Note 8 Pro. The colors on the Redmi Note 8 Pro, they are very vibrant. They are saturated as they are supposed to be for an LCD panel and they are a little bit more accurate. Whereas the colors on the Infinix 08, they are not that great. And besides, the LCD panel on the Infinix 08, it feels a little bit cheap. You will also notice that the screen is bleeding a little bit on those camera cutouts. But it's not really bad, so you are not going to notice it most times except you take a closer look. One of the biggest marketing points of the Infinix 08 is that 90Hz refresh rate, which makes a lot of difference if you are coming from previous Infinix devices. But the 90Hz refresh rate is not that smooth compared to other devices that I've used that have 90Hz. Comparing the screen smoothness side by side with the Redmi Note 8 Pro, you will actually notice a difference. But I don't think it's a wow factor and I don't think it should be a reason why you go out to buy this phone. Does a higher refresh rate make a difference? Absolutely, it does. Do you need it? Not necessarily, if it's the only reason why you have to buy the device. Software experience on both devices are good. Both devices come with a ton of Bluetooth pre-installed from the box. But the Infinix 08 is the king of Bluetooth. The Redmi Note 8 Pro is just a baby. The amount of Bluetooth that come inside the Infinix XOS skin is becoming a plague, both on new Infinix devices and on older ones. I have a lot of people coming to me every time to complain. Please uninstall this, uninstall that, uninstall this one, uninstall that one. Funniest thing, you cannot uninstall most of them. Most of them are built into the core part of the operating system. The Redmi Note 8 Pro, on the other hand, gives me the leverage to uninstall whatever I want to uninstall. The harm this Bluetooth can do to you is that they will keep taking up your data. So sometimes you can load 2 to 3 gigabytes data that is supposed to take you maybe 3 weeks to a month. And all that data will be gone in just about 2 days or 3 days. Because a lot of these Bluetooth are always going online and trying to download things. On the security side of things, recently the BBC and CNN reported that the Techno W2 devices came with malware pre-installed that were hijacking your information and subscribing you to services that you don't want to and therefore taking your money or taking your prepaid airtime. Techno in their defense released a statement saying that the malware were installed during the supply chain. They were not aware of it, which sounds very, very uninspiring for a company of that caliber. The Redmi Note 8 Pro can get up to two years of test support, which means you are going to get Android 11 and MIUI 12 when it's finally released. For the Infinix 08, this might probably be the last update or you might actually get an update, who knows. Both phones have up to 8 gigs of RAM. Both phones come with the MediaTek Helio G90T. Both phones have up to 128 gig internal storage. Both phones come with LCD panels, except that the Infinix 08 has a higher refresh rate of 90 Hz. Both of these phones have 64 megapixel main sensors. The Infinix 08 uses the Sony IMX686 sensor, while the Redmi Note 8 Pro uses the Samsung GM1 64 megapixel sensor. Both sensors can shoot 4K videos at 30 frames per second. No optical image stabilization on both sensors, but both sensors support electronic image stabilization. When it comes to 4K videos taken on both devices, I actually prefer the quality of the 4K videos that comes out of the Infinix 08. But the images taken with the Infinix 08 are always overexposed against those ones taken on the Redmi Note 8 Pro. If you zoom into images that are taken with both of these phones, you realize that the images of the Infinix 08 are not that sharp. They look a little bit blurry when compared side by side with images coming out of the Redmi Note 8 Pro. And also, the Infinix 08 Pro has focus peaking. So most times, you have to point at something for a long time, trying to get the camera to focus before you are able to take a clean shot. Both cameras have night mode capabilities, but it is very obvious here that the Redmi Note 8 Pro has a better night mode capability. 
Most times, I can't even differentiate between images that are taken in night mode and regular mode on the Infinix Zero 8 because both images look overexposed at every point in time. But the Redmi Note 8 Pro manages light better than the Infinix Zero 8. Hey, if you're still here and you've not subscribed, please do us a favor by hitting that subscribe button, alright? It goes a long way to help the channel out. So enough of all the talk and the cameras and everything, let's go over to the slaughter table, let's open both devices up and check them out from the inside. So I'm going to start up here by opening the Redmi Note 8 Pro. I'm not going to open the Infinix Zero 8 here on camera because I've already done a tear down of the Infinix Zero 8. If you haven't seen that video, it's going to be up here in the YouTube card or down in the description, alright? So the back of the Redmi Note 8 Pro is made in glass, so I could actually use a heat gun in trying to open this phone up. But I just like doing it this way, this is what works for me, this is how I prefer it. So after a few minutes, I was able to take off the back glass. If you haven't seen what the Redmi Note 8 Pro looks like from the inside, here is your first look. And in comparison with the Infinix Zero 8, you will notice the difference in build quality here. The Infinix Zero 8 is made with plastic, that's the plastic back cover, while the Xiaomi Redmi Note 8 Pro is made in glass. By now, you would have noticed through the video that the back glass of the Xiaomi Redmi Note 8 Pro has already cracked. This happened when I took both devices out to go and do a camera test, I was out there taking pictures. Both devices fell off my hand at the same time, but the Xiaomi Redmi Note 8 Pro cracked while the Infinix Zero 8 is still intact. Now that's the advantage of using plastic over glass, but I'll still prefer glass over plastic any day. So I've taken out all the screws on the back of the Xiaomi Redmi Note 8 Pro. So I'm going to take out this back cover here that is holding the board to the frame of the device. So this back cover actually houses the fingerprint reader. The build quality of the Xiaomi Redmi Note 8 Pro from the inside seemed to be a little bit more solid than the Infinix Zero 8 from a technical perspective. And also if you look at them from the inside, you will notice that the camera arrays are in a triangular fashion but facing different directions. So now what we are going to do is we are going to take out boot boards, lose them out of the frame to be able to check them out and see what the... Oh Monepa, don't take light to Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. Ah, they have brought it back. Sorry for those of you who don't watch my videos from Nigeria. I'm in Nigeria, no. Things like this happen sometimes. I apologize, please. <laughs> so I've gone ahead to take out both boards of the frame. And as you can see, they look very similar to each other in the way the cameras are lined up and even in size. We're going to take a closer look at those 64 megapixel sensors in a moment. Taking a closer look at the board of the Redmi Note 8 Pro, you see this aluminum copper foil at the back here. That is where the Helio G90 t lies, which is very similar to that on the Infinix Zero 8. So using my knife to peel off that copper foil on the back of the Xiaomi Redmi Note 8 Pro actually reveals a lot of thermo paste under it, which is lying directly on top of that Helio G90 t processor. For those of you who don't know, the thermo paste also helps in the cooling down process of that chipset. Again, putting both boards side by side gives you a clearer look at how this chipset is positioned inside both of these devices. So here are those 64 megapixel sensors that run on both of these devices. The Sony IMX sensor which runs on the Infinix Zero 8 is a little bit larger than the Samsung GM1 sensor which runs on the Xiaomi Redmi Note 8 Pro. From what we know about these two sensors, the Sony IMX sensor which runs on the Infinix Zero 8 is supposed to perform a little bit better than the Samsung GM1 which is a smaller sensor that runs on the Xiaomi Redmi Note 8 Pro. One thing you have to keep in mind is that the performance of these sensors depends heavily on how good the software of the device can process the images that are taken by these sensors. So I'm going to take out the batteries from both of the frames of these devices. Let's take a closer look at that copper cooling system. So if you haven't seen what the batteries look like of the frame of the devices, here you go. After removing the batteries from the frame of the device, you realize that the copper cooling system on both of these devices is very very similar. The G90T rests directly on top of the copper pipe at this point here. So any heat or residue that is generated by the G90T is absorbed by that copper cooling system and enables the phone to run smoothly. Now this processor will actually heat up faster when you are playing games like PUBG and everything. But from the Redmi Note 8 Pro that came out since last year, it has actually been proven that this copper cooling system actually works well. So at this point, you might be asking me, Kingsley, which of these devices do you think I should get? I will definitely go for the Xiaomi Redmi Note 8 Pro because, first of all, it's a device from last year. It has everything that the um, Infinix Zero 8 has except the 90Hz refresh rate, which is not a big deal. And besides, the Xiaomi Redmi Note 8 Pro is going to be cheaper 
now than it was when it came out last year. So 